Hi, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Yes, funny hat time because a lot of you don't pay attention while I'm just bareheaded or just regular haircut. And it's wonderful pal, another teaching aid. I'm not a teaching aid. Ah, uh, Dino the dinosaur. Yeah, boys and girls. This is Uncle Al's favorite dinosaur companion. Okay, thank you, Dino. Yeah, and don't forget me, Ontario Pripper. Okay, boys and girls. Now, a lot of you were asking me questions uh, in your videos and stuff. And let me show this one really quick. I think it was Little Prepper Lady and Anne from Prepping in Progress. They were wondering how come women had really bad times with prepping. Well, because prepping is like another version of the getting channels and stuff. You have the nurturers, which is Alaska Granny and Prepper Popoli. I really enjoy those channels. Uh, Prepper Princess to extents. Um, like I said, I don't trust anybody, but I trust those three. Um, Alaska Granny, Prepper Popoli, and then uh, in the of uh, the Prepper Princess. I do like their channels and I don't have qualms about it. Now a lot of people were asking me are there any lady preppers? I said yes but they're dispersed through Canada, Mexico, and America. That's a big continent kids and they do put out books. Some little, some big, but they do all print. And I gotta remember to pull this out or my friend well, don't get any credit. I keep forgetting today's Tuesday afternoon. Tomorrow is Wednesday morning at 9 Mountain Time. Is Will's just in time prepping? So you figure out Mountain Time and you check up what Will's doing. It's a really good morning coffee chat. Unfortunately, I won't be there. I have to go to the hospital, then to the blood bank. I have to uh, get blood samples, so I'm going to have a fun morning, kids. Uh, hopefully I can make it back for the second half. Uh, Uncle Al is kind of soft-spoken because Uncle Al is kind of tired. And this is book review and newspaper ad. Now, a lot of you know, I got about three different supermarkets I go. I go to a mainstream one. I go to a very fine ethnic food one. Yes, they have a butcher shop. Okay, these are all ethnic foods. And it does have a fairly good green market. These are all locally produced. Because I don't like anything fancy from out of state. Unless it's a certain variety. Now, I'll never shop again toward Dick's. Dick's went totally East Coast and commercialization. So I switched over to these guys, Sportsman's Warehouse. These guys are okay. You'll never catch me again at Dick's. Dick's made a big marketing error, and their CEO is uh, not an outdoorsman. She, uh, I won't say her. Um, I might be sexist on this, but in real fashion, she's not an outdoors person. Yeah, she does sports, and she have no idea what I'm talking about, being in the outdoors, or camping, or uh, gone fishing, or living in a well. She's an urban person, so her specialty is more for uh, sports-related equipment and park-related equipment, like jogging, basketball, and biking, not the real-world stuff. So, bye, dicks, and good luck you new CEO because I'll never come to that store again. Let's see, I did cover what uh, just in time prepping with Will. Still having trouble changing my about page. I'm tr still figuring out my system says I'm the something's old or something. Now I did cover Little Lady Prepper. Go check out her channel and Prepping and progress. They had some questions, and I hope I can figure that. Uh, uh, Given the correct answer, I had another information, but 
I got more cardboard than knowledge. Okay. First, we got to go with the general information of the book review. I got to do this fast for you people. One Second After by William Forshin. He did several sequels to it. This is a very good book if you're an EMP burst. Now, EMP burst done correctly with a neutron bomb. Radiation will be in a very small area, but the EMP burst will be a wide scale area. So if it hits in the Midwest, like <coughs> Moffat, I think it's Moffat. I think it's Moffat, sorry. Um, or I can't remember the other air base, but if it's hit around the Mississippi or Nebraska, it'll affect both sides, both east and west coast. So everything is fried. You go back to the 1840s or the fourth world. Now, I've seen people do stuff that are a little crazy. A high Desert Pioneer did day two. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't understand septic systems. I have to tell people because I've seen people doing screwy things. Now, once you take off those covers, you lose pressure. So don't go out and leach lines, okay? And you have a big open cesspool. Not very good, not very good for your health until you have a risk of methane explosion. Now, a lot of people didn't understand this when I put it in my comments because a lot of systems runs off exposed wire. So if your pump's underground, that's fine but being fed by an exposed wire system. And a lot of people, I don't know, Uncle Al, do Okay, Uncle Al might be blah, 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 but he's not incompetent in all fields. That one, you have to think about it. You lose pressure, so you have a big, huge container full of you know what, and it's not draining off into the leech line, but rotting there. Now, unless you want to do like the Chinese before they, they, in the 60s and 50s, go in there with a honey bucket and start dumping into your fields. Great way to get dysentery and cholera and a few other nasty diseases. A lot of people say, well, well why don't you do your EMP one? Because a lot of people don't understand what's going on. Now, Russia, I'll tell a little bit, Russia on EMP, a lot of their planes until the, I think, mid-80s were using analog, that's mechanical, or vacuum tube system. On the other hand, America was going in more into digital. Bad thing with EMP bursts, if you're too much digital and not enough the other one, your planes go... <coughs> And that's what Russia was counting on. Their planes had, excuse <coughs> me, had analog and they had vacuum tubes. So they could fly through the EMP burst without ill effects and shoot down American planes. Certain American planes, if get hit with an EMP burst, will go <whistles> down to the ground. Now I know what you know, Wayne was talking about Hawaii when they had the airburst back in 1976. That was, I think, Starburst or Starfinder or some kind of star thing. It was testing a high altitude nuclear bomb, like a neutron bomb, with little or no radiation of an upper atmosphere. It fried everything from Hawaii to the Marshall Islands. Fortunately, we're still in analog and didn't affect too many systems but the systems that were exposed got fried real good, which is AC systems, digital systems, and exposed wire. It played havoc on the islands of Marshall. Now, a lot of people couldn't understand this, and it took scientists over 25 years to finally figure it out. Yay, science and logic to my friend up in Canada. Hubble's cat, yay! Really good videos. Go check out his recent video on the Fall Down series. Really good. Okay, let me put those over here. 
I did send Reverend Christine a card. This is going to be a long one, kids. Sorry about this. Um, this is one of the lady preppers, Patty Hines, The Doomsday Crash Course, really good book. Uh, these are generalist books. Uh, never get old and lose your minds, kids. Uh, this one's a cookbook. Eat well for 99 cents. Yeah, I picked it up from Paladin Press. And a lot of you guys who are in the military who never read this, who's level higher than a sergeant, if you didn't read this, you have no idea I'm packing. Okay, I think I lost the book. I, Uncle Alan has too much stuff sometimes. Also, Uncle Alan's a little nuts. I thought I had, oh, I gotta do another video because I'm trying to remember where I put that. Ah, shoot. Nope, I got it. This one's an anthology series, but it has very good women writers in it, which are good guys. I hope you can get it. It's hard to find because it comes from a day where we used to use these. That's how old Uncle Alan is a survivalist. Oops. Mm. I can't tell if it's running or not. Never have an old system. Okay. This book right here uh, had a glitch, so I don't know if you've, you've seen me videotape, but this is a really old book because it has a CD-ROM in it. That's how old Uncle Alan as a survivalist is. And I just noticed my system went back up. This is written by um, Jean and her husband Samuel Spangenberg is about baking. Really good book. And then we got Poverty Prepping by this lady. I have several late Lady Preppers books. And you've seen this before. Just in case by this lady right here from Canada. Okay. This is a classic if you're a Mormon. Peggy Lipton, Emergency Food Storage and Survival Book. And then I've been pushing all my survival mom. She had a YouTube channel, but I don't remember where it went. Uh, okay, I gotta do this quick. Shout outs to Prep Fort, Harshman Hills, Liberty Garden, Coursera Trainers. Love your work. Love this EMP stuff, but a lot of people don't understand what's the fallout from. Uh, it's going to be water, Steve. It's going to be water and sanitation. Food will come in nine days from this point. But food, water, food, not food and water, water and sanitation is going to be your big problem. And then if you guys live in your apartments, you're going to be surprised if you live on the bottom floor. And don't forget, um, this is what happens when you have brain damage, kids, you can't remember. And also the computer has brain damage. So full Spectrum Survival with Brad and Kelly. They do great work and they produce different news medias. Uh, I got news media and a survival channel. I like them both. I watch them both when I have time. And just in time prepping with Will in Wednesday morning and Saturday at night. Now I'm trying my best. As a small southern housewife, that's all I could do for right now because I just ran out of time. And I hope H.C. Hubble's cat got my food storage list. You might have to change a few things to fit your needs, H.C. And I sent you a thank you card. Now, it drove me nuts, as should be reached there within a week. So I'll catch you later, kids.